Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to run you through my May wrap up and my June TBR. By the end of today I will have finished everything that I want to have finished in May because it is still currently May. The first thing that I completed in May was Crescent City by Sarah J Maths. I have a review of this coming or already out, I'm not sure yet. There is a review that exists for this that will be out in on the channel somewhere. I really like this book, I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars. I have pretty constant audiobooks on the go, so this month I listened to the audiobook of The Body Keeps the Score. This was a book basically like a psychology textbook to be honest, and it goes through trauma, it goes through different ways that people manage trauma, and it's quite informative just about all the different types of therapies and that, that you can um, get for trauma. Again, it's like a textbook basically, but it was really really interesting. Um, I highly recommend it if you're interested in that kind of thing with the warning that it is quite confronting. Um, he uses a lot of stories throughout the book that are quite explicit in their descriptions of the trauma that has happened and they can be quite confronting so that can be a bit of a trigger warning for some people if you have experienced trauma at any point in your life. So keep that in mind but if you are interested in it, it was very very good and I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. The next book I finished was The Dangers of Truffle Hunting by Sunny Overend. This book was like every bit of trashy romance that I needed at this point in time. I got the arc of this a very long time ago from a friend um, and I just never read it and then I decided that you know what now is the time and I did and yeah this book was just ridiculous. I in all honesty I actually don't think that I liked this book very much but it was kind of that really nice palette cleanser that I needed at this point of the month um, with all of the books that I'm reading. So it was really nice, it was quite lighthearted, very ridiculous. I liked that it was set in Australia, it was written by an Australian author and it is about um, a lady who is about to marry a man that she's not really in love with um, and she doesn't quite realise that and she goes back to her family farm which is one of the vineyards in Victoria and there's a big scandal with her dad and his new line that he's bringing out and he has this new farmhand on that's helping him with all of these things and the main character of this story obviously has a bit of a crush on him um, even though she's engaged to marry this other guy so chaos and shenanigans ensue from that and yeah this was not a very good book I'm sorry I, I didn't really like it in hindsight but I needed it at that point in time. This is again probably an adult fiction book. I think that this was a bit raunchy for young adults so keep that in mind if you're going into this one. And the last book that I've read in May is Throne of Glass by Sarah J Mass. I have already spoken about this before because this is a reread of the series. This time around I think that I actually quite enjoyed the story. I think I liked it a lot more the first time. I think I was quite obsessed with it the first time but knowing what happens and knowing where all the characters end up um, by the fifth book is actually quite interesting when rereading this first book because there is no hint of any of it. There's like a little bit of hint about the main character Selena's future and her past and all that kind of stuff but it's not really explored in this first book and I think that might be why I like the first book so much because I love that competition aspect of she's competing to be the king's assassin and all of that kind of stuff and it was it's really fun and I did really enjoy rereading this book. So that leads me into my TBR for next month. I will be picking up Crown of Midnight, which is the second book in the Throne of Glass series. Again, I've done a video about this before, but I'm trying to reread this series so that I can finish it and just put it away in my brain because it just gets so sluggish towards the end from my memory. So we'll, we'll see. Oh, my coffee has been in the shot this entire time. How gross. As mentioned before, I have audiobooks constantly on the go. Once I finish Dragonfly and Amber by Diana Gabaldon, which I'm more than halfway through, I will pick up Voyager via audiobook to continue on with this series. I find it quite nice to listen to. Um, it's definitely this book because it's the politics of the whole Jacobite rebellion and when they're in Paris. I didn't like it in the TV series and I don't like it in the book, but audiobook means that I can just listen through it and just have it running and I don't have to think about it and it's really nice. So I'm going to finish this and then I'm going to start listening to this and I don't think that I will get through this in June but I hope so and we'll see. The next book that I'm going to pick up in June is Howl's Moving Castle. If you have seen 
the Studio Ghibli movie, you know what House Moving Castle is. I didn't realise this was a novel until a couple of years ago. Again, I bought it, it's been sitting on my shelf for a long time. I'm gonna read it. I've heard a lot of great things about this book, I've heard that it's quite whimsical, and I'm hoping that it'll give a bit more background to the story, the Studio Ghibli movie, because I love that movie more than words can say, so I'm hoping that I'll love the book as well. The next book I'm going to pick up is A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. I have again heard so many great things about this series. I bought the book a long time ago and I haven't read it. I have read a V.E. Schwab book before. I have read This Savage Song before by V.E. Schwab and I loved that book and I have the second one again, haven't read it, um, but I will jump into this series and yeah hopefully sort of see what the hype's about and there's a lot of positive praise around this book and this series so I'm hoping that I will enjoy it as much as everyone else apparently does. So I know nothing about what this book is about. I just bought it because I've heard that it's good. And the last book that I'm going to pick up in June hopefully is The Book Thief. This is a book that I am ashamed that I haven't read yet. Again it's quite a classic book, it's got a pretty good following, it's got great reviews, I bought it a long time ago and I haven't read it. I think that that's pretty much just a theme at this point. Again, trying to cull down my TBR bookshelf, so a lot of these books have, are a part of that. I'm quite ashamed to say that I don't actually know what The Book Thief is about, except for the fact that it's set in Nazi Germany and it's about books being illegal, I think, or a girl stealing books or something to do with books. And I think that there is something to do with death in it. I'll let you know at the end of the month when I've hopefully read it. Anyway guys, those are all the books that I'm hoping to read in June and all of the books that I read in May. Let me know what you're reading this month in the comments down below. If you've read any of the books that I've read or if you've read any of the books that I'm going to read, let me know what you thought of them. I would love to hear. Yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye!